Hi everybody, my name is Rick Bowie. I'm a distance student of uh, Dr. Buckner's. I'm here to demonstrate, uh, or rather I'm here to do a, a three point temperature demonstrator. Um, why I was interested in this? Well, Dr. Buckner said he wanted, you know, a large display, uh, lightning bolt shooting across the room, etc. Well, I'm a thermal engineer, so I figured in any excuse to uh, fire up a torch and uh, make lots of heat transfer and possibly break things is right up my alley, so I, I went the uh, heat direction. I have a fairly simple apparatus here, what you see here. Uh, we have a nickel disc and a permanent magnet, and the attractive forces are evident. I can't really keep it away if I try. Um, principles behind this, uh, nickel is ferromagnetic material. Below the curing point temperature, what's happening is that the individual magnetic dipoles within the material line up with the magnetic field from the permanent magnet, and we have a little bit of a net magnetization. Now, as we approach the curing point temperature, this competes with the effects of entropy and the effect of weakens. Above the curing point temperature, now it's completely paramagnetic, mag paramagnetic mag material, and uh, the effect is completely gone. For reference, the curing point temperature of nickel, 354 C. Uh, of iron, it's about 768 C. These ceramic permanent magnets are a little higher than that, but uh, unfortunately in the footage you're not going to see. I've split a couple of those in half with too much heating. So that's why you see the perpendicular orientation. I'm trying to just heat the disc of uh, nickel here and not heat the magnet. So with further ado, let's light up the propane torch. Um, so that'll be fairly quick, adiabatic flame temperature, a little less than 2000 C, and uh, heat addition rate of around 4.4 kilowatts. Now we begin heating. At 4.4 grams of nickel disc, this ought to happen relatively quickly. And there we can see the effects. Now if I take away the heat source, you'll see now the effect is, is lessened, so you're not going to see it swing back completely, but if I try to manipulate this on the shorter term with the screw, you can see, well, you know, there's no magne net magnetization at all, so it doesn't want to hold it to the permanent magnet. So we have to let things cool just a little bit more before we can get the magnetization back again. I'm going to set the torch aside, so I'm not going to burn anything around. And you can see, now we can start to see the effects of the magnetic field as it's starting to draw it back in. For, you know, the uh, purpose of expediency, I'll give this a little help. I'll just put it there and we can see we can do this again. Paramagnetic becomes paramagnetic. And there we have, in a nutshell, the uh, curry point demonstration. Now, you could build yourself a, you know, a thermal magnetic engine that operated on this principle as long as you know you had to uh, balance out the inertial effects of uh, uh, the uh, swinging magnetic disc, but you're really not going to make too much work out of this if you take into effect the amount of heat addition required and everything. So one more time we take a look. We can see already a little magnetic effect on my, on my pliers. Heat. No more magnetization. No more magnetization on the pliers. Put it up next to the magnet, nothing happens. There we have it. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you very much.